There's a nice, pure, natural spring coming out of the rock here. <clears throat> and I'm in just outside of Dunlap, Tennessee, at a place called Stone Cave. And this used to be a, an academy, like a high school, Christian academy, years ago. And this is the beginning of a little tour I'm going to take you on. I lived here between 2002 and 2005. And I haven't been back since... I don't know when, years ago. But there's been some changes since I've been here last. And I will show you on that. And I will try to find some before shots, still pictures of what it used to look like in contrast to what it looks like now. <clears throat> so it's got a nice stream running through it. Uh, that spring we just looked at feeds this campus, so the campus gets spring water. There's the pump house. To the side. The bridge here is a little narrow, but it could get a semi through it. <coughs> So the main thing it used to be was an academy and a farm. They, they uh, grew strawberries and other stuff, I think corn. I don't remember anything, but I know they had strawberries and had the nursery for, they sold flowers. So why don't we go ahead and check this building out first. This right side where most of the windows are is the chapel. And on the other side is classrooms. I don't know if it's open or not. But we will check and see. There used to be a couple big bushes in the front here and those have been cut down. Which is good because it needed it. But as you can see quite a bit of growth here nothing like what you're gonna see in a little while <clears throat> now I just arrived in the e yesterday evening when the Sun was almost gone so I could see it some but not a whole lot but what I did see <clears throat> very much shocked me it's probably locked nope it's not good we're gonna go in Open these doors, get some light in here. This is the hallway, main hallway. To the right is going to be the chapel. Oh no. It's a storeroom, it's a storage unit. <laughs> a lot of people's personal effects. Couches and beds. You can see the small little old pews. Let's walk up front here. It's actually smaller than what I remembered it being. I thought it was bigger, but it's nice. Or it can be nice. There's like a nursery or something where that could be opened up for more seating. <clears throat> it's got a loft up there or balcony. See that? You can see that pipe or wood stove. It's on the other side of that. Let's go up here real quick. Some carpet. Old piano. Let's see, there's a, another 
like an office for pastor's office or something. There's some steps that go up somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot. There's a like a little storage place over there. <clears throat> Okay, so that's that. So let's take a walk through this side. Never mind. <laughs> Can't get through there. Well, it's a good place to store things if it's not going to be used. There's some classrooms in here. Here's one. Of people's stuff being stored here. Probably some artifacts. There's another classroom. I think it's two classrooms. <clears throat> you can see that floor's bowing, it looks like. It is. <laughs> that needs some propping up. Sorry, it's so dark in here. All right, so two classrooms. Uh huh. It's also a garage. Let's go upstairs so we can do it without collapsing the building. There's actually this is a shame. That's the way life goes. Big classroom here. Recognize those books? Anybody? Once was a school. It's like the building is shifting. This floor is totally uneven. <coughs> Four classrooms. There's the pipe. <clears throat> Let's see if this will make a classroom too. Yeah, I forgot. This is like a little apartment, which could be turned into another apartment again. The, this is where the stairs came from. Can't see it because it's covered with some foam. Here's some an attic. more unused space that could be used. It's even got windows up there. This is another dwelling place for somebody. Let's 
still redemptable. All right, I'm gonna shut this door and we'll just walk around. And go to the next building, which is the cafeteria. I went into that last night. You're gonna love that. Imagine several people, I should say dozens and dozens of people, roaming around in this place, hustling and bustling with activity. Now it's all no longer it's got trees growing out of the roof there of the gutters okay but I see what it can be this is what startled me last night a coffin a casket and next to it is a stove so what it turned out to be I'll show you more. See if this thing will open up. How do you open this? Probably a button somewhere. So does that represent what this place looks like right now? So we'll go inside. Here's the entrance to the uh, cafeteria. Used to be OCI headquarters. Alpo Centers Incorporated now, or is it? No, it's international now. So there's the uh, commercial kitchen. I could use a little cleaning, to say the least. You can see that there's some cobwebs up there. And there's cobwebs. I don't think there's any light. Yeah, there is. Wow, okay, good. I wonder if there's any water. All right, <clears throat> my video turned off. So this is where we were at. This is the kitchen. And this is, of course, where they would take their trays and pick up their food and so forth. Probably started right there. Anyway, so let's continue on with the tour. Here's the men's bathroom. And we've got a square toilet here. And we've got a sink and tons of cobwebs. And now, let us see, here's the, bat, the women's bathroom. It's cobwebby. Out. Turn that off. Oh, okay, fine. If I don't hit the wrong button, I'll get this right this time. Alright. So there's the oven for baking goods. Some trays. Some cabinet space cupboards. Some nice deep sinks. Serving area. Missing some other appliances, of course. There's a like a grinder for flour or whatever. <clears throat> Deep freezer. Some exhaust fans. Chap 
up on the classrooms over there. I just continue on, I'll go upstairs. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this light off. And we're gonna go upstairs. Upstairs is the dining area. <clears throat> such a nice place at one time. It's a nice piece of furniture. Let's see if I can find the light switch. Or maybe not. Okay. Okay, this is what... Let's go through this one here first. <clears throat> this is kind of partitioned off, but it's... All of this is the dining area. Looks like these are some VHS tapes. Oh, it looks like that window broke, shattered. <clears throat> See what's outside the front there. A lot of trees have grown up close to the buildings. So those would need to be all cut down. So here's the exciting room right now. It's, it's also used as a storage unit. You'll see what's in it. You guessed it. More coffins. More caskets. Well, there's a gentleman that lives on the property here. And he's actually in the business right now of buying and selling and even making caskets. Let's see if G is. Oops. I think we'll leave that shut. There's one for a little person. We'll go around this way. I think that's one thing they have been keeping up is mowing down this hay feed on. They've hired these guys out to do it. Okay, let's move on. Hope this video is turning out okay. Is going to start mowing this field here. There's another guy somewhere. There's a crawl space under there. <clears throat> this might be a lengthy video, but. I won't go over here it's close because there's occupants in upper and lower levels there. Back door, and there's, but yes, those are residents there. Being rented. He's mowing the lawn. He's bush hogging it. So we're going to head over this way now. Okay, so just past where we were just at, the cafeteria. You see, you might be able to see it. There's, it's hidden in the trees that have overgrown it. There's a greenhouse there. And another one here, framed. The frame is there.
We'll walk a little bit further and then I'll cut off the video until we get to our next building. I want to let you see at least what kind of land is here. We have this big field here. way down this road here. acreage on this side of the road and then you got acreage on the side of where the spring is that goes up the hill there and I believe there's more acreage on this side so this will look a lot better I can show you after at the end of the day just how it looks once it's mowed I know it's like some of this grass is taller than me But this would be a good field for industries, an airstrip, all kinds of stuff. And then the, then you got this middle section where everything, this is in the middle of the farm. Farmland is in the center of the whole school property. But you could use some of that for farming as well. This is the other buddy with the tractor. So between the two of them, they'll really be able to knock out this grass. Over there where that rusty roof is, that's where like the uh, tractor barn is. It's even maybe kind of like a auto shop, maybe. Tool shed. We'll, we'll go look at it later all right i'm gonna try to get you an idea of what the land is like but i'll cut off and we'll start again all right so we'll pick up here I'm trying to save some minutes on the video there's that, like a little power shed or something so this is the road that leads to what used to be the oci headquarters offices So I drove down here last night, it was just really getting dark, too dark to see, and uh, I didn't even recognize it. I had no idea, I didn't realize how much it changed here, because I'm going to try and get a hold of pictures of what this part used to look like. I don't think this video can do justice to what, how different it is now, but I think you'll get somewhat of an idea if I can contrast a before picture to what you're going to see or not see when you get here. <laughs> so obviously this is a road that it has a stop sign there. Again, that part of that open field I told you about, you can put an airstrip or buildings, industry. So it was a stop sign like in the middle of the, of the jungle. Why would that be? If they didn't mow this strip here, you wouldn't even know that there was anything back here. Not have a clue. I'll step over. <clears throat> so at least, unfortunately, they at least mowed a little strip back here. So 
And this also is a little load strip. Hopefully right now I can do a uh, before shot. Okay. So here we are in the parking lot. And then you, you wouldn't realize it, you know. But there it is. There's the White House with the big red door on it. Really? What? It, I don't see anything there. <laughs> well, let's go a little closer and see what we can find. So I walked up to this last night. <clears throat> see this? I think these are concrete steps. Where the grass isn't growing. All right. See a little bit of structure there now. Something's there. All right, let's see if we can find that red door. See that white, beautiful house. And upstairs. All right, let's venture on here. Watch where we're going some windows. Hope it's open. There's actually a house back here. And there it is. It's that elusive red door. It's really, it was really nice inside too. Let's see if we can... There we go. And I have to put new flooring in there. I didn't see the power zone. No, that's right. They took out the. Well, I was told that some. I don't know, meth heads or somebody came in and stole out the electrical box. Somebody did. I always like this world map. Gives you inspiration. All right, we'll power the switch on in here. Let's see the old India map. Okay. Nice view out there. Look at all the carpet. Uh, there we go. Let's put a hole in the wall. There's just something about the mentality of of vandalism. <clears throat> I think part of it is their sense of guilt that they know that they're doing something wrong and they're going against their conscience. Because there's no motive, there's no reason, there's no hate motive here necessarily. Came in to steal something and then they, because they're fighting against their conscience, they lash out with destructive behavior. This would be the house that I'd stay in. Alright, out the door. By the way, it's... Let's see if I can shut my hard up. I can't shut it anymore. So this guy's already got that much mode. But I'd show you a little bit of the uh, some more of the fields. The other half there's a road that turns there, <clears throat> which leads to the bakery. 
but this will uh, give you an idea how big it is. I used to be able to drive here. <laughs> That was the road that we just walked on. <laughs> it has clearly run down a lot. See that big tree there? That wasn't there. It's one of those fast growing trees. They're nice for shade, but not nice for growing next to a house. <clears throat> so make a nice covered carport there's a neighbor across the creek doing some weed eating used to know some people that lived here years ago Let's see if I can give you a shot from here Somebody's been here not too long ago. Because there's a path here. I don't think it was a deer. Some furniture in there. Oh, look at that. There's your, there's the deck. The tree's growing through it both sides. See how fast they go? Look at it grew right, it pushed that picket to the side. So I got some little cedar. the kitchen. I don't know if it's open or not. Alright, so that's that. There's three houses in the back here. At the property. This would be this would be the east side. So I'll wait make my way out of this jungle. So they'll be putting that into rolls, I would imagine. <clears throat> they don't do so many uh, square, rectangular bales of hay anymore. But it's still, it's, it still happens. It's like, I, I don't know what it's about, a third of the way done. Some good firewood there. But beyond there, there it is. Yeah. There's a an old barn. You can see the roof there. Right left or right of that telephone pole. There's a roof surrounded by a bunch of trees. That's an old barn. There used to be a, a combine parked right there where that tractor is. But it's either been sold or probably has. So I don't think it's engulfed by a tree or not. Okay, so the bakery is right over there where that pole is. I don't think I'm going to go over by that barn right now. Alright, so we're just about done with our tour. I think I'm going to turn off until I get to the bakery. There's that first tractor. <clears throat> Making some headway. 
a lot of happy horses after this. Right, well, I'm not gonna. Well, I am gonna go to the bakery, but not just yet. That's the bakery there, that little door. You can see it says Stone Cave Bakery on the top. They got a nice little place to sit. So, what I'm gonna do is just take a little. I got another uh, two vans. <clears throat> I'm going to take you back to where I used to live. Me and my family. Got a screen door on there. And I worked in this bakery when it was called Stone Cave Bakery. There's a couple windows there that they got covered for keep the heat out. And that was just storage space from what I remember. My understanding is nobody lives up here, but that corrugated metal wasn't there either. But we lived up there, and it was like a two or three bedroom room uh, apartment, kind of odd laid out <clears throat> floor plan, but. And this, this wasn't here. This was, you could walk underneath there before. They made like a little shed or something out of it, storage place. Half of this is the bakery. Like this isn't, this is just a bunch of storage. This is storage. And after this garage is the bakery. It's a little bit more than half of it is the bakery. There's their big propane tank. There's neighbor's fence line. <clears throat> I'm going to go up there. Well, I'm going to walk up here anyways. I can at least say hello. So this was my view. All I had to do, I had a very short commute to work every morning. Come upstairs there, go down in here in the bakery, walk through that door. Watch bakery, get your phone number and call them and order some bread. And that's upstairs, there's also sleeping quarters up there. I think for students or guests or something. So we're going to enter the bakery here, and they're open, so see you in a little while. Alright, so I got done talking to the one of the bakery owners about this property, and the lady that owns it. She wants $5 million for what you've just seen. <clears throat> and what you are seeing. And her dad, what was it, 2003 or four, is when he, <clears throat> I'm not gonna go over here, but uh, so you have a, uh, upstairs house and then you got a downstairs apartment and the downstairs is being occupied right now so her dad with some cash and a little piece of property in another county from here 
it was probably just a little bit you go with the value of the property that they traded it and then some cash it may have been worth about 1.2 million and that's when the buildings were in far better shape far better shape than they are now they're not livable anymore they were livable so she wants like four million dollars more and also I knew it was a flooding area you can see how much they've already mowed down in fact he did this whole looks like they both finished their uh, areas so I don't forgot where I was at anyways yeah <clears throat> So all the land behind that white house that we looked at, the big, big house, it's all flood land. <clears throat> I remember a story that was told me that <clears throat> they had to rescue a lady that lived in a trailer back, just back behind a little ways with a boat. They had to use a boat to go and get her. And then there's some land just past the driveway there where that barn was I told you about it, it it floods as well I remember when I lived here it was probably two or three feet deep of water <clears throat> so here's the uh, tractor shed that I was telling you about see it's not very big you park a, a few small cars in there Well, <clears throat> and here's some whatever sheds and garage. I'm not going to go in there. There's, that house has never been occupied since I've lived, was here in 2002. <clears throat> Still abandoned. I don't know. <clears throat> Sometimes we don't value things like we should. <clears throat> this place will just go and continue to rot into the ground. <clears throat> Somebody wants five million for it. I wouldn't offer a million for it. <clears throat> Not with all that work it requires. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to get some more water out of that nice spring I took you to this morning. And, uh, and I think I'm heading out. On to my next spot, I guess. Let's see what time it is. He told me of another property. And I guess because they owe some money on it, it's like six million dollars. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this tour. If anybody wants information on, on how to contact the owner of this place, I've got the phone number if you want it. <clears throat> Maybe she will consent to sell it for a reasonable price one day. But I'm looking for a place and this at this point is not it. So we shall see what the future holds. Thanks for watching.